To finish these chairs, I use a card scraper of my design, which you can purchase on the store page of my website. Using a roundover bit set flush to the rim of a pattern following collet insert for your router, you can put a round corner or roundover on curved pieces. Using rasps and files I'll clean up all the corners. Here I'm showing how I use my fingers as a fence when scraping next to a piece of wood with opposing grain direction. I finished the chairs off by carving some texture into the end grain of the top of the back. Heard of the Danish soap flake finish? Well, this is a palm olive dish soap finish. Actually, it's just an old dish soap container that I put general finishes wipe on poly in. After the chairs are all finished, I'll screw in corner blocks to help hold the seat cushions.
I notched the back of the seat blank to slip in between the back legs. I drill holes in the seat blanks so that they can be bolted onto the framework, and I'll use one seat blank as a template to drill all the holes in the seat blanks the same so that they can be interchanged between chairs. I use the seat blank as a template to drill holes into the corner blocks so that every chair is the same. the table saw to do a final leveling of the chair legs and then I route a chamfer around all the corners. Because of the extra wide feet on these chairs I use special ordered chair glides nailed into the bottom. I used two inch high density foam for the cushions on these chairs, cut about a half an inch bigger than the seat blank. And then I use a quarter inch thin cotton batting for the upholstery. I build a lot of crates, as most of my orders come from out of state. I've shipped to just about every state in the country, and I've had to get pretty proficient in building crates. I start with a good three quarter inch base nailed onto some four by four blocks for the feet. Next I build the sides of the crates and they get nailed onto the base.
when you're working by yourself in the shop, you have to learn a lot of little tricks that help handling large objects and large projects. Might look a little rickety right now, but once the top is nailed on, it's like a brick. To line the crate, I use one inch styrofoam insulation, and to cut it, I use my table saw with the blade set below halfway the distance of the styrofoam. Then I wrap up the chairs and I use more insulation as padding in between the chairs for shipping. It's always exciting to see a project heading on to its new owner and to think about what the next project is going to be coming up in the shop. Please like and subscribe to see more videos. This project was a collaboration with Plain and Square Woodworking out of Georgia. Steve out there did an excellent job designing this table to go with the chairs. I will leave his contact information in the description of this video. It does excellent work. I'm so thrilled with how the whole project turned out. Thank you so much for watching.